is we're going to talk about goals for 2019. Now, every new year, people set goals and they have different things that they want to do. Some popular ones are they want to exercise, eat healthier, start reading more, maybe meditate more, um, clean their house, clean their car, just all kinds of things. And it's really important that we keep making these goals and we always strive for a better self version of ourself. Um, so I'm going to talk about goals for 2019, how you can not only list them and write them and want them, but also how to achieve those goals and how to have a plan to achieve those goals. So in 2019, the first thing you want to do is make a list of goals if you haven't already. And so let's say your list was read, exercise, and oops, read, exercise, and meditate. Those are three of my goals to continue. And so say those are yours. Okay. So the important thing is to start out slow. You want to have goals that are going to be obtainable. And so, you know, I actually have about seven goals total right now, but I'm really focusing on a couple at a time because the thing that people don't realize is that you can't just change overnight. There's a reason why you are the way you are right now and you're already in certain patterns and certain behaviors and it's not going to happen overnight that you're going to change those patterns and behaviors. It is actually research-based that to change a behavior or a pattern, it actually takes about three weeks of consistency to change that um, pattern of behavior. So it's easier to pick like maybe a couple of small goals. Well, maybe they're not small, but pick a couple of goals to really focus on. And then as you build those patterns and develop those ones, then you can incorporate new ones to go along with your life. And so here are some ways that I've incorporated these. So the first thing is you want to list your goals and then you have to have a plan. So that's the second thing. The second thing you want is a plan. So say I want to read, this is my actual goal. I want to read at least 12 books this year. Would I love to read more than that? Absolutely. I hope I can beat this goal. But that's another thing. I'm not setting the bar too low, but I'm also not setting it too high. I pick 12 books a year because that gives me one per month for the entire year and that's an obtainable goal. I think that I will actually go further in this goal, but you don't want to set yourself up for failure either. So if you don't make your goal, it's not as heart wrenching. Okay. And a, one book per month is a very reasonable goal. So now that's great. You may think that that's the end of the plan, but it's actually not. You need to make this plan more in depth. So how am I going to actually obtain reading 12 books this year as a part of my goal? Well, here we go. I'm going to say that a typical book that I would read is a roughly 300 pages. Okay, so if I read a 300 page book per month, it's going to roughly average out to reading 15 minutes per day. So not only have I laid it out monthly, I am now going to make a plan every day to read for at least 15 minutes per day. That is actually a recommended time anyways that they, you know, researchers and studiers say that you should be reading. Um, we actually learn thousands of new words every year just by reading. And so if you're not a reader, it's, it's not a terrible thing, but it might be a goal that you want to achieve because you actually learn so much more and you obtain thousands of words of new vocabulary that you didn't have before. So 15 minutes per day is definitely obtainable. And I am a teacher. Some of you may know that. So it's maybe some people would say it's a little bit easier for me because I'm with my students and I encourage this with them. And so I could, you know, always read with them, which I do. I want to model good behavior, but I also do this at home. I really love to read and it's not, I, I really have the habit of saying the same thing that I'm going to tell you not to say. Everyone has this excuse of, oh, well, I don't have time to do that. We all say it all the time. And that's such a lie. We do have time. 
The problem is we don't make the time. And I'm so guilty of it too. Um, and I'm really trying to change the way that I say things. Instead of saying I don't have the time, I'm trying to say it to myself or to others, I would really love to do that. I haven't made the time for that yet. And so we all have the same 24 hours in the day. And so if I really want to obtain that goal of reading 12 books per year, then I need to make sure that I'm reading 15 minutes per day at least. Now, every day of consistent reading is definitely going to get me where I want to be. However, in the beginning, if let's say you missed a day, you don't want to, but if you did because we're human, you try to make up for it on the next day. So at least you're not falling behind with your minutes, even though the day-to-day -day is really what is going to be the most consistent thing for you. The thing is, we develop patterns. So you have to think, did you always drink a cup of coffee every morning before you go to work? No. The answer is no. Because you didn't do that when you were 10, 11, 12, most likely. Or even when you did whatever age you started, someone introduced that to you or you started doing it. And then the caffeine helped to build to that every day. And you enjoyed it. It was something you loved. So your goal is also helpful if you pick something you love or something you really want to do because it's going to encourage you to do it every day once you realize how fun it is or how much you enjoyed it. So just like drinking that coffee every day, if I tell myself, wow, I really loved reading for that 15 minutes and maybe I even went over my time, which so far I have gone over my time every day because once I actually sit there and I make the time for it and I fall into my book and I get lost in the story, it's amazing and I love it and I like think to myself, why haven't I been doing this the whole time? It's just because I haven't made a pattern of this. So I tend to love to read right before bed, which I think a lot of people have that same habit. It's also really good for you to fall asleep to a book rather than the TV and it just helps settle your mind at night. Even if you don't fall asleep to the book, as much as I love to fall asleep to books, I also, if I don't fall asleep, I will turn on the TV after I read. That's a whole other habit that I need to change. But the point is you find a time of day that works for you and then you try to do that goal every time at the same time. So if you're like, hey, I'm gonna read before I go to bed, perfect time, put your book right at your nightstand or on your bed waiting for you. Then you get in bed, you read, you feel accomplished, you've you know, sunk into your story, you feel great. Okay, so something that would be my reading goal for you to try to obtain. And you can do the same thing for any other goal. So I don't think I wrote, yeah, eat, like eating healthy on here, but someone the other day said, you know, I really wanna eat healthy. And so I know that this has not worked for me in the past where all of a sudden I'll just change my diet and be like, go to the grocery store and buy all these fruits and vegetables and yogurt and meat and all this stuff and I get so gung-ho and so excited about it. And then I go to work the next day and I'm like, I don't wanna eat any of this because I'm still on my sugar. I still want my cookies and I still want my snacks and I still want my peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And it's easier if you take it day by day. So if you wanna eat healthy, you might say, okay, for snack every morning, I bring a chocolate chip granola bar. Okay, replace that snack with a bag of grapes. Just that one. Everything else you wanna obviously try to hold back and maintain or maybe not eat as much. Like if you have a handful of M&Ms every day, maybe you break that down to a half of a handful. Um, the thing is we will get so gung-ho about it and then we are so off the diet within three days because we haven't had anything that we wanted. We need to take it slow. That's why so many people can't quit smoking cold turkey. It happens, don't get me wrong, but it is much harder to quit cold turkey doing anything. We really need to ease ourselves into it and give, our, give ourselves a break. So I think that if you give a shot at my plan, you think about your goal, reading. What do you wanna get out of your goal? Mine is 12 books for this year. And then I break down my plan. If the, my books that I typically read are around three pages, I literally took 300 pages, divided it by 31, because that's roughly every month has about 30, 31 days. And then I averaged that down to about 15 minutes per day because that's what worked for me. That's my plan, I'm sticking to it. One more thing, one more tip I wanna add at the end is timers. Now, I went to school and took a lot of behavior classes, and I'm in education, so this may sound crazy to some people, but I love timers, I live on timers, I have toddlers 
and I time their timeouts. It's really structured and really scheduled, but it helps. So I will set reminders on my phone to, you know, tell me, okay, it's 10 o'clock. I'm supposed to do such and such for however amount of time. My 15 minutes per day, if I, you know, am just in that mood where it's like, I want to read my 15 minutes per day, but that's it. I'm done. Then I set my timer for 15 minutes. I grab my book, I read, and then when my timer goes off, I'm let off the hook. I've read my 15 minutes. I'm good to go. Okay, especially for exercise, something that's really hard when we put on ourselves and you know, you're just like, I don't want to do one more crunch. Well, if you set your timer for the 10 minutes and say, okay, I'm going to do 10 minutes of exercise every day. You know that you have that timer going and you're just waiting to hear that beep and you keep going. It's like having a coach for you already there on your cell phone, iPad, Echo, Google Home. There are so many resources that we have and we just don't take advantage of them. Timers, I'm telling you, try to incorporate <clears throat> incorporate them in your life. I think that they might do wonders for you. All right, let's give it a try, guys. Let's make 2019 wonderful. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. Remember that if you're not already a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button below. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video, and also comment below if you have anything cool to say or add to the goal achieving process, or if you have a request for a video in the future. I really look forward to having you guys leave some comments, and I also hope that you subscribe. Thanks for watching.